what CPS doesn't want you to know. They don't want you to know that you can fight. They don't want you to know that you have rights. They don't want you exercising your constitutional rights or amendments. And when you do, they will use tactics like not bringing your kids to visits, not returning your phone calls, leaving you in the dark. This is unethical. You need to know that you can report these unethical caseworkers. When a person has a job in this country and they decide to take the law into their own hands, they are abusing the power of that job. This is very dangerous. We don't like it when police officers abuse their power. Same thing with any other type of government entity. CPS abuses their power all the time. They make parents sign to put their children in a safety plan and they usually do this by intimidating you or threatening to take your children away if you don't. I might not know everything, but I know this. There is a wealth of information on that smart device you're looking at right now. There is a wealth of information on the World Wide Web. They don't think you're smart enough to look it up. They don't think that you will work to prove that they are a fraud. Prove them wrong. It doesn't matter how long ago your case was. Write down your case. Type it up. Get Google Docs. Put it on your phone. Go on YouTube and look up how to use Google Docs for a document how to insert pictures. You want to put the addresses on the cover sheet of your document to your CPS, DCS, DCF, whatever it goes by, commissioner of your state, your governor, your senator, the county which your case is taking place in. You want to list the DCF department, whatever department is working your case. You want to also make sure the juvenile court judge gets documentation. Put all those addresses on the front. Insert pictures to make it more personable. You are going to read the policies and procedures for CPS, DCS in your state. Look it up. Google it, write down every single policy they've broken and insert that into your documentation when you describe your story in detail. Make sure you list everybody's full name, addresses and phone numbers at the bottom, but when you talk about people in your story, list their full first and last name and ages if possible. This is how you get started. There's a wealth of information where you can get more help and there are resources and communities that are ready to help you for free.